I'm just aggravated, ready for this to get over with, ready for him to come home. Timothy McManus's wife is ready to reunite with her husband, who is still behind bars after police say he led them on a chase a few weeks ago. Good evening, everybody. I'm Victoria Hanson. And I'm Dean Stevens. While Melissa McManus wants her husband back home, today a judge made it harder for him to get out of jail. ABC News 4's Natalie Calla joining us now with that story. Dean McManus's attorney wanted the judge to lower his bond from $100,000 so he could afford to get out of jail. But the judge didn't do that. We have three kids that miss him very much. He is not a threat to anybody. But prosecutors disagree, and so did Judge James Gosnell. I am going to um, maintain the $100,000 bond. Charleston County is certainly safer uh, with Mr. McManus exactly where he is in jail. Inside preliminary court Tuesday, Judge Gosnell also heard testimony to figure out if the case should even move forward. McManus is accused of resisting arrest and reckless driving oh, after leading Sheriff Al Cannon and other deputies on a chase through Mount Pleasant. <laughs> this is Lieutenant Ransom Williams hitting Timothy McManus over and over again after they finally caught up to him. Tuesday, Lieutenant Williams told the judge why he did that. I started approaching into Mr. McManus with my gun drawn, advising him to get on the ground. He looked at me with a blank stare and failed to comply with those orders. Lieutenant Williams said he saw something in McManus's hand. I didn't know what he was going for. And to be honest with you, all I could think was of these other officers just recently getting shot in Aiken and all this stuff going on. And for safety reasons, I don't have time to make those decisions. I made a split-second decision to utilize force instead of deadly force, and I did what I needed to do to get Mr. McManus into custody. <laughs> That item ended up being a cell phone, and McManus's attorney says Lieutenant Williams' split-second decision landed his client in the hospital. He's got bruises all over his face. The dog chewed his arm up. He's had staples on his arm here, here, and here. McManus's wife thinks her husband belongs at home, but this judge decided he'll go to trial. And according to McManus's attorney, so may Charleston County Sheriff's Office. McManus's attorney says they're considering suing Charleston County Sheriff's Office. They're just trying to figure out whether or not they'll file in state or federal court. Natalie Kaula, ABC News 4. And to make bond, McManus or his family would have to put up $10,000 to a bail bondsman. If he does that, he'd still have